Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for Cancer. All right, so we have Dark Night of the Soul. We have Sexual Encounter. Lord. <laughs> Nine of Cups. Wishing. Somebody, okay. Somebody who's going through the Dark Night of the Soul is wishing to have an intimate encounter with you. <laughs> So your twin is right now, they're going through the the dark night of the soul, but they're thinking about you. They're wanting to sleep with you. They're suffering. They're not saying anything to you at this moment. They're suffering in silence, but wishing that they could have a sexual encounter with you while going through the dark night of the soul. Lord, some of the dark night of the soul. Ooh, the ten of swords. So they went through some type of painful ending or there was some type of ending that occurred between you and this person that sent them into the dark night of the soul, or this could be you that's going through this. Um... Or they're going through some type of other ending in their life that is sending them into the dark night of the soul. We have the fool. Oh, Lord. So be careful, guys, of this person. They may come to... Oh. Hold up. Clarify the nine of cups. Yeah, you're what they really want. See, I'm going to be honest with you guys. This may not be what you guys want to hear. But this person uh, who is going through the dark night of the soul, they won't really want to. But... They may not, they may feel like they can't have you right now. So I do feel like they are maybe embarking on some type of like new, they're sleeping with somebody else. Let's just put it very bluntly. They could be like trying to find somebody else to have a sexual encounter with. They really want to do this with you, but yeah, wanting to conquer fear of losing you. They feel like you are their wish fulfillment, but let's see, why are they suffering? It? But they're not saying anything to you. Yeah, Knight of Wands. Lustful, risk taker, sudden arrival. Hmm. Tell me about sexual encounter and the fool. The wheel of fortune. Okay. So who do we have out here? We have Aquarius energy. We have Aries Leo Sag energy. We have Sagittarius and Pisces energy. We have the Ten of Wands. See, something changed here. Something changed and something came to an end. What does this do with them? See, doesn't totally understand their love for you. Yeah, they're unawakened. What does that have to do with my collective? The Two of Wands and... Eight of Cups. See, you guys were maybe at a crossroads about whether or not you wanted to walk away from this person or not. And I feel like you guys made that decision to really walk away from them. Because you're dealing with somebody that was not, they did not have the same awareness of the connection that you did. So I feel like you were faced with a decision about, you know, am I going to keep dealing with this? Or am I going to walk away from this and, you know, find better or, you know, make room for something better to come in. And I feel like you guys ultimately, you got out of this two of wands energy and you made a decision here. You made a decision to, I feel like, walk away here. Um, and it changed things with the Wheel of Fortune. Spirit, it's like, almost like Spirit saying that's what you were supposed to do. There's a lot of tens here. Ten of Swords. Even the Wheel of Fortune. Something came to an end. What came? Give me more clarity on this ending. The Five of Swords. So, like, you guys maybe ended a cycle with this person that was, yeah, let's see. Page of Swords. What are they wanting to know about? Who's watching you? What about the Page of Swords? The King of Pentacles. So it could be an earth sign, masculine that's watching you, or just an earth sign is watching you. Why? Nine of Wands and the Page of Wands. Mm. If this, if this person hasn't started sleeping with other people, I feel like they 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 may take a leap of faith towards you and try to have this with you. Try to sleep with you. I don't, I'm just, I, I'm being honest with you guys, but this is the energy that they're in right now. I feel like there's a cycle that came to an end. What about the Seven of Pentacles, though, before I said it? The High Priestess. Okay, what was that? Lessons. Yeah. I was kind of getting that with the Page of Swords. Somebody's learning a lesson and a lesson that they could have only learned during separation. Yeah, like there was separation needed for some lesson to be taught here. So, yeah, somebody started listening to their intuition with the high priestess, Pisces energy. Somebody, you guys realize that somebody could have been telling you that they wanted something long term with you and that they were going to invest and they were going to do this, this and that. But somebody was like trying to play mind games with you to keep you waiting. And I feel like you guys knew this. It's like it, it just got to the point where you knew maybe that this person was never going to learn as long as you were like there like yeah we have the hierophant taurus energy what about the hierophant 
The hierophant can be about lessons. Justice, yeah. This could also be a what's this mean for my collective? Eight of Wands. Somebody is wanting to come in and give you what you deserve at some point, and it's kind of happening out of the blue. Why? The Ace of Swords. So because someone's gotten some type of clarity. What is this clarity? That they love you with this ripped apart card, vulnerable in love, love exposed the truth. Somebody's realizing that they love you, but why? Is it because you walked away? Yeah, what is undecided? Why did why did someone why is someone realizing this now? Because you closed out a cycle with them. This person was playing mind games with you. And I feel like you guys decided to walk away from them because your intuition was telling you that this person was playing with you. So I feel like you guys decided to walk away. And when you guys walked away from this person, like you really made that decision to let them go, things started changing. Yeah, and now it's what's manifesting here. Temperance. And we have Six of Pentacles. So this is... Um, balance guys something balanced balance is being restored or you're manifesting a reciprocal like the temperance can be about reconciliation so this can be about someone reconciling with you and with the six of pentacles and it being balanced this person was never going to give you anything balanced or fair tell me more about this person's intentions towards my collective the eight of pentacles they're working on something five of cups they they have regrets here See, there's the nine of wands again. They have regrets for being so guarded. Yeah, for, so guarded or something like that. What, what is this? And I don't know if maybe this is how they're going to be. Ooh. Somebody has a lot of sexual energy towards you at this time. So I feel like that. What do they need to know about this sexual encounter energy? Is this, what does this mean for them? Eight of swords. See, someone's trying to keep you trapped on them. Yeah, yeah, nine of pentacles. Somebody doesn't like you single. Yeah, what about divine timing? See, somebody wants you to wait on them while they continue to juggle or they haven't even fully made up their mind or something like that. Yeah, rejection. See, this is what's about to happen. All right, guys, I don't think this is for some of you. This may have already happened for others of you. It didn't. We have the king of pentacles on the back of the deck again. So some of you guys are definitely dealing with a earth sign. All right. Who has been watching you or they're about to learn a very valuable lesson. Okay. A very significant and possibly difficult lesson that's about to send them into the dark night of the soul. What is sending this person into the dark night of the soul and making them realize the depth of their emotion for you and to really enact some type of change is this person, they're possibly already going through the dark night of the soul. I don't think they are, maybe. But this person is coming towards you out of sexual, like they want to sleep with you. They're coming towards you out of lustful intent here. Kind of in a means to keep you stuck on them. So to, before I continue, to clarify the full, the seven of cups. See, this person has options. Yeah, wish waiting. See, I told you. It's like this person wants to keep you waiting while they have like these... They explore their options. What about King of Cups? Forbidden. Ace of Wands. What's forbidden? The Hermit. You guys are not letting this person come towards you in any old kind of energy. That's the thing. But I feel like this person is going to come towards you out of lustful intent. I do feel like they want to try to make you an option still. I'm going to be honest. Um, and I feel like you guys... And But the thing is, this person knows that you're a catch. They know, they do view you as wish fulfillment, but they're not treating you as such. What is this person's problem? Because I just, what is this person's problem, Spirit? What is this person's problem? See, you make them feel, vulnerable. see, what about the three of swords? The nine, the same cards keep coming out. Ace of Pentacles and the four of cups. They feel like you're a missed opportunity. They feel like you're about to let them go. Yeah, they feel like you're you're with the nine of wands. They know that you're very close to letting them go, but you guys are letting them go. The ten of wands came out. Yeah, this person definitely likes to play games and they like to fight or they like conflict. The moon, yeah. Someone's about to get some karma here. There's something here about a rejection. You guys going cold on them? Yeah. They could have chose a situation. They were trying to juggle you in a situation that they were holding on to for money. 
Mm -hmm, guys yeah coming in out of nowhere after yeah i don't know i need more clarity what is this straight to the points guys what is this person's intentions with my collective because it's not very clear i saw the ace of pentacles but it's not that it's not just that what is this person's true intention so they want to reconcile okay tell me more sagittarius energy Ooh, children and we have the moon what is this it, i hope this person isn't hiding something about a child what is that about page of pentacles yeah that's that pages can be children sometimes or their child what about the page of pentacles ten of pentacles what's up with my collective oh you know what guys oh my gosh i'm sick of this energy coming back oh didn't i say this person wants to trap you hold on guys this person wants a son if this person ever told you that they wanted a son yeah this confirmation for you this person is com coming in to reconcile with you because they want to keep you on hold but the thing is is that your intuition is going to be pinging you big time with this person or you already know what this person's about you guys may not know this person was trying to come in and trap you with a baby but that's what they're going to try to do here yeah this person is trying to get you pregnant for those, if, you know, I know some of you going to be like, I can't have kids. Well, this may not be your reading then because this is somebody, this is very, very clear here. All right. People need to stop trying to make every collective reading their reading. Not every reading is yours and stop trying to make every reading yours. Okay. Um, you will really know when it's your reading. This is somebody that wants you to put your life on hold for them or somebody wants to take their time. It's almost like they want to continue to explore other options, but they want to have some type of permanent tie to you. This is literally somebody who is trying to hide. They're wanting to reconcile with you with a hidden motive with the moon here. Yeah. If for some of you, if you ever, if this person knows that you want a child, they may be trying to play on that. That could be a possibility for some of you. They may be trying to come in and say like, look, we can have a baby together or something like that. But no, I, this is somebody that's trying to trap you because with the moon, there's a hidden motive here. This, and then the temperance can also be about patience or it's like they want you to be patient with them or they want you to wait on them. I told you, they feel like you're very close to releasing them or being over them or done with them. So, all right, what can I do? To keep you from letting, what can I do? I'm telling you, this is very clear. Don't try to make this something that it isn't. And I'm telling you what it is. I see it. Um, this is somebody. Mm -mm, that wants you to wait. It's like one day they want to marry you. One day they want to settle down with you. But it's not right now. This is a very lustful person. This person is repl replaying in their mind the times that you guys were intimate too. But it's like, mm -mm. this person is thinking that if they have a child with you, yeah, Ten of Pentacles, mm -hmm. they'll establish some type of foundation with you. Like there's something there that they can't, Nine of Swords. What about the Nine of Swords? The King of Pentacles? Again, guys, I'm telling you, Earth Sign. Why are they in the nine? Of, why is this King of Swords in the nine of nine of Swords? Why? I hope that nobody um, because they're getting karma. We look, yeah, they're getting karma and they're starting to really see themselves for what they are. Yep, they're starting to see like you know where they were wrong and they don't like it. Yeah, judgment has been called on them. Yet past actions and consequences, they're going through karma. You're forcing this person to look in the mirror. And they don't like it. So what does this have to do with? Tell me more about children and see their awakening. Where are they awakening to? Healing. Oh, I mean, for some of you. Frozen. See, they don't, they're still resisting change. So what is happening here? The sun. The magician see they don't know yet they know that they want you but they're not sure if they're ready to put in this work mm -mm. yeah guys i literally just asked spirit if they're trying to trap you 
and look what came. I was like, I know I didn't say it out loud, but I was like, what are they? What are they? Are they trying to trap them? And the, the, the look at this. The Eight of Swords came out. Look, this girl is literally in a jail cell. Helplessness, feeling trapped. So yes, they're trying to trap you. Confirmation. There is that's there is no other way to spin it. It's like this person knows what they need to do to be with you, but they're not ready to do it yet. So they're like, all right, well, I'm, I want to do this on my timeline. So I'm going to try to do something else to try to keep them stuck on me. And they're thinking about children. Yeah. Yeah. You guys were conflicted about whether or not you wanted to completely leave this person behind. But yeah, death. you guys are going to ultimately decide to close out this cycle with this person or you already have. Um, yeah, you're in this energy of self-love and it's actually making you more, yes, more attractive with the Queen of Wands. Tell me more. Yeah. And healing, date. See, what about date? Oh, no, wait. See, they're going to tell you that they want to spend some time with you. This person's trying to, but I'm telling you, Knight of Cups coming in all charming and romantic. Yeah. What about the Hangman Pisces energy? The Two of Cups. What's money? Oh, they could be letting go of a relationship here. Yeah, they could be letting go over. I told you a relationship that they were in for money. And what's that have to do with my collective, though? Because at some point, this person chose money over love. What about the Five of Pentacles? The Eight of Wands. I hope this person isn't trying to come in to use you either for money. Let's see, what is this? This person feels like you're leaving them behind. That's why they're ending that other situation. But they're still not ready to be with you completely. Mm-mm. They're still not ready to be with you completely. Wow. This is gross, to be honest. Whew. Okay, guys. What else can we look at here when it comes to this person? This person knows that losing you would be losing a bit. They feel like you really got your money together. They feel like you're a catch. And you are everything that they always hope for, but they're not ready for you. This person's in a very, like, player, lustful. They're not ready to give up this player lifestyle. You guys need to be careful with this person because they're going to try to do something here. Because they feel like you're getting a little too far away from them. They're still unawakened. You guys may have that twin flame connection. This is a twin flame reading, but they are not awakened. But they're about to. And I feel like it's because of your... When you reject this person, it's gonna, it's gonna, they're gonna be hurt. But that's what they get because this is how, this is their intentions for coming towards you. You don't try to trap somebody with a baby. Well, how? <laughs> this is crazy. Guys, very clear message today. I wish that I had a better message to relate to you guys. The only positive thing that I can tell you guys is that once you guys do reject this person that, I mean, this may not be really positive for you, but they're going to, this is going to send them into the dark night of the soul because once they can't even get you, they can't get you into bed. They can't even get you to spend some time with them. They're going to be like, oh shit, like, you know, they're really done with me. And that's what is making this person go through the dark night of the soul. Finally face some things about themselves because yeah someone is being shady something is being hidden suspicious suspect untrustworthy I'm telling you what about viral trash see you guys may i don't know if something was revealed to you or it will be revealed to you that will make you realize that if you dodged a bullet with this person at least for right now or something like that because it's like during your time, if you are in separation with this person, which you probably are, something was revealed to you or it just became clear to you that this person is not a catch. They're not somebody that you want to be with right now. Like, it's probably best that things you never ended up having a child with this person. Yeah, there's something about this person that you're like, oh, yeah, I'm going to put that person on the back burner. I'm not going to give them too much of my time or energy. Yeah. Somebody is definitely watching you. Mm. They want to know if you, you still feel the same way that they do. Yeah, what about, they want proof about something here or you want proof from them. Yeah, they're watching you, but I feel like they want proof of something. What do they want proof of? What do they want proof of here? That you're really doing well or what do they want to know? Vibe, what about vibe? This person.
person likes to see who you're with and who you're spending your time with. And this person's coming in lying. I'm telling you, they're not being honest with you. I think that somebody was about to maybe come in and you guys could have blocked this person or something like that. Hmm, let's see. It's not very clear to me at the moment. Heavy on the suspect, though, because they're definitely un heavy on someone that's being shady and something is being hidden. Elaborate on that. High key. Something needs to be said out in the open, obvious, letting someone know. What is that about? Love bombing. Oh, Lord. Sharp with attention. See, they have a motive here. It's like someone has been suffering in silence and then all of a sudden they're going to come in and have a lot to say. And they're going to be coming in, yeah, with some type of manipulation. Hidden intentions. This card is about hidden intentions too. What is their hidden intentions? See, they're not being honest. What they're saying is not true. Becoming someone you're not. Lies, bullshit, faking. Yeah. Receipts. So make this person, whatever they're coming in to tell you. See, you guys found out that this person had other people, that they were dating other people online or something like that. Maybe this person wants to know if you, you know what, that's what it is too. This person wants to come in to see if you are dating anybody else, if you have met anybody new, if you're mingling. Yeah, that's what they want to know. Yeah, needing answers. Yeah, evidence proved doubtful. Because you guys left, they feel like you left and you acted like you didn't care or something like that. A goodbye for now, dismissing it over it, whatever yeah or like you guys maybe confronted this person about dating other people and you didn't make a fuss about it you're like i know that you're doing this and that's that like and they they think that that's weird <laughs> yeah some of you guys blocked this person it's like you told this person that you knew that they were cheating or something like that or that they had other options and then some of you guys literally just fell off the face of the earth you blocked them you left and it, it kind of bamboozled their ass like yeah <laughs> Because this person maybe thought, this is maybe past energy for some of you. This person maybe really thought that they had like shown off to you or they had really shown you something that was like, oh, they they had lied to you about some things, guys. Like, I don't know. They were not, every, if, if the last time you talked to this person, they were like, oh, this got better for me and I've been doing this and I've been doing that. They were not being honest with you about a lot of things. And I felt like you maybe felt they're in genuine, uh, they're, they're not genuine energy. Tell me about squad though. I don't know why that keeps coming out. What about... Squad and spiritualist, the struggle is real. See, what does this have to do with anything? The squad card. See, didn't I say this person was bamboozled? What are they shock, shook about? That you like kind of like dismiss them? Or yeah, you're putting someone on hold, half potential, but not sure yet. Waiting, maybe grass is greener. See, the, they thought that, I thought this person thought that they could put you on hold. Yeah, this person, and that's very inconsiderate of them. But what does this have to do with squad though? Clap back. I really hope that this person doesn't have like a whole like harem of people that they deal with. That's what I'm kind of getting from this. And you found out about it in some way. What does a squad card mean? See, cancel. Dismissing someone or a situation. Rejecting someone or an idea. Rejection. Not interested. Boycott. See. Now they want to get rid of those people or something like that. They want to get rid of those people. Those other people that they were entertaining, either it was friends, family, it could have been exes, people that they were messing around with. The texter. They're going to maybe tell you that they don't have those people anymore. Yeah, but I just feel like. See. What are they shook about? They're not doing well. I told you this person lied to you and I feel like you could feel this with this hitting a rough patch in life, frustrating situation, not easy, trying time, setback, annoyed. What is this person shook about? What were they not expecting? What were they not expecting? Yeah, why are they sad over you? Why are they sad? Because you don't need them and you're doing well without them. Yeah, you, you'd like dismiss them or something. You dodge them. And Spirit says you did the right thing. Or this is what's going to happen. Yeah, they're focused on money. Yeah, there's something that they're doing to get money that they don't want they didn't want you to know about and i feel like some of you guys found yeah with the spilling the tea you guys found out about this somebody disclosed information to you or yeah there was something about a hidden truth about some type of way that they were getting money and um you put them you you i'm telling you you guys told this person like i know that you got this situation 
I know you got these people you sleep with. I know you got this person you're using for money, whatever the situation was. And they're like, and you guys just kind of like left. And they are shook by this. They weren't expecting this. And I feel like this person was like trying to make it seem like they were doing better than they actually were. They were doing, sh they were doing shitty. They were going, they've been going through karma. So is this, are they still trying to, are they still about to come in and try to come in for a sexual encounter? Is that what they're about to do here? Yes. Wow, guys, they still haven't learned their lesson, but they're about to. I'm telling you, this person is about to try to come in and finesse you. Look at this. Getting something in a slick way, smoothing things out, steal, buttering up, persuading, and charm. Oof. Give me one more. And sipping tea. But see, Spirit says, careful what you listen to when it comes to this person. And listen to your intuition with vibe on the back of the deck. Yep. This person has a hidden motive. Look, ratchet person or place behaving wretched, behaving stupidly or reckless. That is extremely reckless to try to purposely get somebody, get somebody pregnant just to keep them from moving on from you. Nasty, unappealing, inelegant. Yeah, you, you, ugh. guys, I don't even know what else to say about this. Um... I, want to, I do want to take this over to the extended reading because I want to see, because we do have that dark night of the soul aspect. So there's something about some type of ending here that is leading to transformation. Things are changing, but you definitely, this person is extremely toxic. I'm just going to be honest with you. This person's toxic. Um, they definitely have been trying to, they've been, they've been underhanded. I don't know how else to. But I want to take a deeper look to see more guidance for you guys. And I just want to just dive deeper into the situation. Yeah, and definitely focus on getting you guys some guidance. Some guidance. Some 